Hello there friends, my name is Victoria Moro. Welcome to release of the day. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel where you can keep up with the newest trends in the world of indie artists. Hello, hello, dear friends. I'm so happy to be here with you. Join us tonight, a very interesting musician. Hello. Hi, how are you? Great, very good. How are you? I'm good. I'm so happy to be here. Oh, it's so amazing. We are lucky to have you here with us. Thanks. And are you ready to begin? I am, sure. And first of all, please introduce yourself. What's your name and where are you from? I'm John McDonough. I'm a singer songwriter uh, currently living outside of Chicago. I've only been here a couple of years though. I was in Austin, Texas for 25 years and, uh, and made the big change up to uh, Chicago a couple of years ago. Oh, great Chicago, fantastic. And yeah. is the genre of your music? It's a, uh, I, I, it's singer songwriter, but I like to sort of say it's, it has a little bit of an edge to it. It's not as mellow as most singer songwriters, but, but deep down it's acoustic singer songwriter music. Okay. And what is your favorite movie or TV series? My favorite, I'm sorry, my favorite what? A uh, movie, your favorite movie or TV series. Oh, um, boy, that's a tough one. Uh, my favorite movie, let's see. Um, uh, to Kill a Mockingbird is one of my favorite movies of all time. Have you ever seen it? No. Okay. <laughs> well, if, if, you're free oh, one if you're free one Friday night or something, you look it up and stream it. It's, it's uh, uh, unbelievable. Oh, yes. Now I'm very looking forward to it, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Good recommendation, you know? <laughs> okay, and uh, what about books? What book would you recommend to read? Well, I'm just... Uh, okay, so there's a book out there called The Boys in the Boat. And uh, I'm going to recommend that because that's what my latest project is all about. My latest ah, CD. Wow. <laughs> it sort of tells us The Boys in the Boat, it's a true story. It tells the story of uh, these kids in the 1930s who were rowers at the University of Washington out uh, in Seattle. And they went to the 1936 Olympic Berlin Games and they won gold. And it's just an unbelievable true story of grit and perseverance. And I was so moved by this book. I read it several times. And, uh, and then I ended up writing a whole... EP sort of telling their story, but in song form. Wow, very interesting. It's like book and after a P connects yes. this book. That's right. Wow. And they're currently they're currently making a George Clooney is currently making a movie uh, about this story. He was uh, they're filming right now in England. So uh, so so it's going to be a feature film here in the near future as well. Oh wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> now I think it's a really fantastic recommendation <laughs> to read this book. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Especially when we know all the story, you know? Yes. Good. Okay. It's truly, it's, it's truly amazing. Yeah. So I, I, it's, it's a great, everyone loves it. It's an unbelievable story. Okay. Thank you for your recommendation. Next question. What's your motto in life? Oh boy, um, that is another good question. Well, my motto in life, let's see. Oh wait, I just had it and then I just lost it. Hold on, give me one just a second, hold on. Um, my motto in life is to surround your people, surround yourself with people that bring you up, that feed you, you know, that inspire you, that support you. Um, that's sort of my motto in life. I think if you surround yourself with the right people, anything is possible. Wow. <laughs> nice. Very beautiful. 
And uh, is the question really easy? What's your favorite dish and what's your favorite drink? <laughs> okay. Easy? Well, you're gonna like this one, I think, because Italian food is my favorite. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and this is true. I'm not just saying this because you're from Italy. This is true. And uh, I always say, like, if I could, if uh, if I only could have one, one food for the rest of my life, it would be pizza. So <laughs> I have to say pizza is my favorite dish. And um, I am addicted to Diet Pepsi. <laughs> I drink a lot of Diet Pepsi, so that would have to be my favorite drink. Okay, now we know all true about you, pizza and <laughs> Pepsi. Okay. Pizza and Pepsi, that's right. <laughs> okay, how do you start your morning? Maybe you have some kind of morning routine. <laughs> you know, um, I start my morning, I wake up and I like to actually just sort of lay in bed and just chill out for probably 20 minutes or so before I get out of bed. It's not really meditation, I won't say that, but it's just sort of, I just sort of think and let my mind just sort of relax and enjoy laying there. Then, um, and then after I do that for about 20 or 30 minutes, then I get up and start my normal boring routine of going, you know, getting in the shower, getting dressed, all that good stuff. But that's my... My favorite thing to do is, like I said, when I wake up, I lay there for about 30 minutes and just sort of think and relax. Oh, nice, nice. And <laughs> if you could have one superpower, which would you choose? Oh, my gosh. Another great question. Um, there's so many I would choose. It's so hard to choose just one. Um, but I think I would like to... Uh, I would like to be able to sort of just uh, like transfer myself to different places instantly. Bella. That would be that yeah. would be awesome if I could just be like, okay, like right now, I'd be like, okay, I'm going to come do this interview with you live, and oh, I would wow. just go like this, nice. and I'll be and I'd be in Italy. That would be my superpower. <sighs> Fantastic. And are you a cat person or a dog person, or do you prefer <laughs> other animals? <laughs> You know, I'm not really a pet person at all, oh, yeah. but, but there's one there's one animal I love, and that's horses. I do love horses, and I love to ride horses, and um, and I always dream about having my own horse. So that is the one animal I really I really love. A oh, horse person. Okay. I'm a horse person. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and if you could spend a day with a historical character. Who would you choose? Oh my gosh. Um, hmm. Oof. I don't know. This is so <laughs> tough. Let me think about it for a second. I'll come back to okay, it. How okay. about that? <laughs> Some kind of historical person. <laughs> you know, I, I am a big history buff. Um, and so, and especially at big moments in history. So, you know, I might have to say Abraham Lincoln, uh, from, you know, early in American history, that one sort of popped into my head. It'd be, it'd be very interesting to sit and talk with him, especially during the civil war and things like this. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And uh, which artists influence you most of all? Yeah, I, James Taylor probably is right up there. Uh, I love singer songwriters from the '70s, um, and he just—he always really inspired me. His song "Fire and Rain" is why I learned to play the guitar because I wanted to be able to play and sing that song. Um, so, you know, if I have to just pick one, I'd probably pick James Taylor. Oh, nice. But if we talk about new music, for example, which of the new artists from 2020, 2021, something like this, is more interesting for you? I'm a big fan of James Bay. So, uh, do you know who that is? Do you know who James Bay is? Yeah. So he's great. He has, uh, I just, I really respect his singing and his guitar playing. And uh, 
and his lyrics. So he's uh, he's one that I'd have to pick. I'm also a huge fan of Joshua James. He's not as well known as James Bay. He's an American artist. He lives in Utah. Also just uh, unbelievable. I love his voice and I love his lyrics. And so those would be two, two of my favorites from today. Okay. And uh, describe your music in a sentence or even better in a word. This is how I describe it in a sentence. I say uh, I'm a singer songwriter with a contemporary edge. Okay. Okay. <laughs> sentence is fine. Fine. Okay. okay. And uh, what is your music creation process? I when I um I like to write the lyrics and the music at the same time. I just think it fits, but the, the music and the words fit better when I do it at the same time. But that's tough because there's a lot going on. So I, I think about a song for a long time before I actually sit down and try to write it. Because I want to have it almost like half written in my head before I even start trying to really write it with the guitar. So that's my process. I'll think about it for a long time. I'll sort of know what I want to say. I'll have the layout of the song in my head. So it's sort of half written in my head. Then I sit down and I start trying to write it with the guitar, with music, with the words I want to use. And um, hopefully it goes well from there. <laughs> okay, it's of course it's quite different. Depends of your mood, depends of inspiration, yeah? Mm, right. Okay. And um, do you believe more in natural talent or in hard work? Yeah, I believe in um, I believe in hard work because there's a million people out there that are so talented, and I would kill for their talent. <laughs> But you know, if they if they're not putting in the work, it's not going to happen. You know, nothing. They're not going to be successful, no matter how talented they are. So. Uh, I, I believe in hard work more than natural talent. Nice. But I'm very envious of those people who have all that natural talent. I wish I had it myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now, if you can, please sing to us 15 seconds one of your favorite songs, a cappella. Oh my God, you're really putting me on the spot here. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> I hate this. Oh my God, I'm gonna You don't enjoy. want to sing <laughs> for us? Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what I'd sing right now. Um, maybe your, your own song, I don't know, maybe. My own song, okay, give me just a second here. Um, okay, so I think this is the song actually we're gonna play later on, um, but I'll just sing a little bit of it now. Point me east, let me look out on the water. That's where I spent my best days. Oh, that, was, nice. oh, that might not have been 15 seconds, but thank you. But, but it's okay. But it's nice <laughs> that you try and make it. You have beautiful voice, actually, a nice timbre, really. Thank you very much, thanks. And uh, now our final question. Tell us okay. about your music project and your future plans. Okay, sure. So, so my latest EP that came out um, this year in 2000, well, it came out last year, 2022. It's an EP of five songs. And like I said, it tells the story of this, the true story of the boys in the boat, which uh, is just an unbelievable story. It really focuses on this one guy named Joe Rance. He had an unbelievably difficult childhood, um, basically abandoned by his family at 10. His mom died when he was four from throat cancer. Somehow through all of this, he had the perseverance and the grit to, he stayed in school, made good grades, went to college, got on the rowing team, and, uh, and ended up winning gold in Berlin in 1936. And it's just an unbelievable story that I was so moved by. Uh, lots of times I'll get inspired by a documentary or a book or things like this, and I'll write a song based on it. In this case, the, there's so much stuff in this story. There's so many unbelievable elements 
that I realized one song wasn't really gonna do it. So I got the idea of I'd tell this whole story in song and I wrote five songs telling the story from beginning to end. Um, so it's called We'll Answer the Call and it's, uh, I'm very proud of it. I'm very excited about it. And I love, I love singing the songs and I also love telling the story about what it's about and sharing that story with people. Oh, fantastic. Really fantastic. You know, today you answer for question and after that, um, for example, I want to watch a movie, I want to listen to this artist, I want to listen to this IP, <laughs> and everything. You're like, good seller, you know. You <laughs> really That's great. know what you are doing. It's fantastic. <laughs> Very nice. Right. And uh, please let our audience know where they can listen to your music, which platforms you can be found on, and do you have a website? Yes, so I do have a website. Uh, my name is John McDonough, and the website is johnmcdonoughlive.com. And also, I always tell people I'm, I'm very active on the website, on Instagram, and on Facebook. Now, my name is a bit of a mouthful, and I know it's hard to uh, spell. So I created a Twitter account and my Twitter handle is John M Live. And if you go there, the very first tweet, the pinned tweet is all my uh, websites and things like that. So it makes it very easy. You can choose how you want to follow me. My Instagram is there, Facebook, my website. So go to John M Live on Twitter and then you can uh, you'll see all my sites there. Oh, wow. Very nice. Very nice. And I want to tell you, thank you so, so much for your time, for this nice and positive wipes and fantastic interview. Thank, well, thank you, you so much. And what song are we going to listen to now? So the song we're going to listen to now is called Point Me East. It's the last song on the EP. And uh, it's actually, the song is sung from the point of view of the boat that they won gold in, in 1936. So the boat that they actually used to row has been restored and it's a beautiful piece. To me, it's a beautiful piece of art as well as an eight man rowing shell. It's hung up at the university in Seattle. And, uh, um, and I actually flew out there to see the boat. That's how obsessed I am with this story. So, uh, and it's the sort of the one member of this team that's still around, that's still alive, that you can still go see. And um, and so I wrote this song from the point of view of the boat. And it's like I said, it's hung up in the um, in the boathouse in Seattle. It overlooks the lake where it was used to train. Um, and uh, yeah, so seeing the boat was just a very moving experience. Oh, so so nice. Thank you so so much. And now let's enjoy the song together. The days are getting shorter now. I don't get out as much anymore. The boys are married. With families now Outside the oak tree Still grows Point me east Let me look out on the water That's where I spent My best days Point me east let me look out on the water Pour me east for the rest of my days I love the summer after the rains Everyone comes around in May And we remember the glory and the pain And talk of how we do it all again Pour me east Let me look out on the water That's where I spent my best days 
upon the east Let me look out on the water For my east for the rest of my days For my east for the rest of my days Look out on the water That's where I spent My best days Pour my east Let me look out on the water Pour my east For the rest of my days Pour my east For the rest of my days 